Team Canada has unveiled its roster for the selection camp for the World Junior Championships coming up here for the 2021 tournament. Who's on the list and who stands a good chance to make this team? We'll take a look at that coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now, as I mentioned, Team Canada announced their selection camp roster for the uh, training camp here, which is going to be taking place in Red Deer, Alberta coming up. It's going to be about a month-long process. Uh, so they'll be like in a bubble-type format. The tournament itself will be held in Edmonton as well, starting on Christmas Day this year. A little bit different, obviously, with the bubble, and uh, the schedule is slightly different this year. But overall, should be an exciting tournament. It has uh, the potential to have a lot of great players at it. There's still some NHL players who would be eligible that we'll have to wait and see if there are NHL teams assigned to, uh, to loan and release them to their countries for respective play. But a uh, prime example for Canada, Alexi Lafreniere, drafted first overall to the New York Rangers, is not on this list that we're going to be talking about today. But I would not completely rule out at this point the possibility that he does go and play. Of course, we saw him play at the last two tournaments. Uh, two years ago, he had a much smaller role. Great experience for him. Last year, he led the way. was an absolute force in helping Canada win the gold medal uh, and I think at this point we're going to have to wait a little further into the uh, the winter months here to see what the status is on the NHL season when they're going to play uh, and the Rangers will have to decide if they're comfortable with letting him go that would be an absolutely huge boost to Canada if he could go and participate but of course they're still going to have lots of great players to pick from regardless and if Lafreniere does end up going one of the other players we're going to talk about here today could end up losing their spot because of it but before we jump into looking at the selection camp roster just a quick summary here we do have uh, a number of players drafted here over the past couple of years on this lineup that could uh, grab a spot for team canada this year we also have four members that'll be eligible for the 2021 nhl draft trying out as well including a number of goaltenders and we also have a 2022 draft eligible player and it's a player who very well could go first overall and that's shane wright another young player with a great opportunity here at a much younger age than many players get the opportunity for as well now if you're looking at certain teams to see who's got the most prospects in here uh, from what we can see nobody has more than three prospects at this tournament right now uh, amongst the uh, 31 nhl teams uh, those teams that do have three prospects include teams like the new york rangers the vegas golden knights the Colorado Avalanche, as well as the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, they all have some key players in there, and we'll take a look at these players as we go through this. So what we're going to do now is we'll jump into the roster selections. We'll show you a slide here for the goalies, the defense, and the forwards. Talk through who's on this list, and I'll give you my thoughts as well on some of the players that are most likely to make it. But, of course, they're going to have some tough choices to make. I wouldn't want to be the one making the cuts because there's going to be uh, some good players left off this team this year. So first up, let's take a look at the goaltenders. I mean, we do have five goalies right now coming to camp, including Brett Brochu uh, from Ontario of the London Knights program. He's a 2021 NHL draft eligible goaltender. You've got Dylan Guerin uh, out of BC from the WHL's Kamloops Blazers, who was a Rangers draft choice uh, in the 2020 draft in the fourth round. We have Taylor Goche from Calgary, Alberta, uh, plays for Prince George in the WHL, who's not eligible for, to be drafted until next year. We also have Tristan Lennox, who is the uh, the other member of the 2021 draft class here from the OHL Saginaw team uh, from Cambridge, Ontario. And then we have Devin Levi, uh, who is a Florida Panther draft choice from the 2020 draft here that just took place in the seventh round, uh, going to Northeastern University. I would think the two older goalies out of the five here, the ones that are currently drafted, would probably stand your best chance here. Uh, but obviously, this could be a, a weaker point of the team as well. Hard to say exactly who suits up between the pipes for Team Canada. They do have some interesting options, but many of the goalies coming to camp are quite young. Now, next up, let's take a look at the blue line. They have some very interesting uh, defensemen here. Difficult to say exactly who's going to make it. You have newly drafted Justin Barron from Halifax, Nova Scotia, playing for the Mooseheads, a Colorado Avalanche draft pick. First rounder, uh, one of a few first round picks here for the Avs, including last year's first rounder, fourth overall, Bowen Byram from the Vancouver Giants, a BC boy. Uh, certainly, uh, Byram should be one of the defense leaders here. I fully expect him to be on the team. Uh, we also have Lucas Cormier uh, from the Charlottetown team in the QMJHL. Was a third round pick in the Vegas Golden Knights this year. Uh, I think he is a maybe, but less likely to make it. You got Jamie Drysdale, who should be 
uh, uh, pretty much a given here that he makes the team. I did see some action last year. Of course, he was drafted six overall by the Anaheim Ducks uh, this past year at the draft. Of course, he's born in Toronto, plays for Erie in the OHL. You get Caden Gooley, another first rounder to the Habs uh, from the WHL's Prince Albert Raiders. Uh, I would think he's a, a decent possibility, but you never know. He, he It's hard to say for sure. Uh, he's going to have some stiff competition here, but uh, he has an outside shot at making it. You get Thomas Harley. I think Harley's a pretty good chance to make it. Uh, he's certainly a, you know, a draft plus one season. Uh, the first rounder from 2019 to the Dallas Stars uh, playing for Mississauga here, so um, you know, I would think Harley would have an excellent shot. Six foot four, almost 200 pounds. He could be a, a good force back there. You had Damon Hunt uh, from Moose Jaw. That was a Minnesota Wild third round pick here in 2020. I think he's going to have a lot of tough competition. I, I don't see Hunt making the team, but you never know. But I, I think there's just too much here uh, for Canada to pick from. You got Caden Korzik, who's a six foot four, 200 pound defenseman as well. Out of Kelowna in the Western Hockey League was a Vegas pick in the second round last year. Uh, if they want some size, they have plenty to pick from here, and he could end up being uh, a potential guy in this roster. If he does, I don't, I'm not sure what role he'd play, uh, but I certainly think guys like Byram and Drysdale, Harley for sure, like you know, they're likely going to get spots here. But I can see him maybe uh, being a, a one of the selections here, maybe for a third pair. Uh, difficult to say where they slot him. Depends on how they want the pairs to be, but he's certainly somebody who can be. Uh, you know, a force back there as well. You get Mason Millman uh, from Saginaw, OHL, a fourth-round pick of the Flyers. Uh, he's in contention. You get Ryan O'Rourke, another guy kind of flew under the radar a little bit this year, dropped to the second round to Minnesota, number 39 overall. He's in contention here. Again, going to have some tough uh, competition. Not sure he'll get in, but a lot of these guys who don't make it this year are going to have a shot next year, especially the ones that were just drafted here in 2020 or that are uh, 2021 eligible, like Owen Power uh, from the University of Michigan. Uh, six foot five, two hundred fourteen pounds. You know, we've got a good name like Power uh, describes how big he is. Really, I mean, if you think about it, he's he's a massive guy and he's not done growing yet, which is a crazy thought. Uh, but he's not off draft eligible till next year, so I could see that being a possibility. Uh, Matthew Robertson stands a great chance to make this team. I think uh, he's one of the guys who was in the draft at last year as another year of development. Another big guy, six foot four, two hundred pounds, a Rangers draft pick from the second round playing for the uh, Edmonton Oil Kings in the Western Hockey League. I would think Robertson would stand a great chance to make this team. Uh, same goes for Braden Schneider. I can see Schneider being an excellent pick as well. Another Rangers choice, number 19 overall this year. Um, out of Prince Albert is where he was born, playing for the Wheat Kings in Brandon, the Western Hockey League. Uh, I can see Schneider maybe getting a shot here. Like There's a lot of competition. It's hard to say for sure. you got Donovan Sabrengo, who was a left-shot defenseman in the Kitchener. Uh, Detroit draft pick this year in the third round. I think he'll be in tough to make this team. And then you have Jordan Spence from uh, PEI, uh, playing for the Moncton Wildcats in the QMJHL. Fourth-round pick of the Kings last year. Uh, he's a smaller defenseman, right shot. He could stand a chance as well, but again, going to have a lot of competition. So I think you're going to see guys like Barron and Byram and Drysdale and Harley. Uh, Robertson Schneider probably be your more likely guys to get picked, but they got lots of great talent here to choose from. Now we have all kinds of great forwards to pick from as well. Looking at these guys, we have uh, Adam Beckman, six foot one forward of the WHL, a Minnesota draft pick. You get Maverick Bork, who likes to get a, a decent look here. He's a Dallas uh, selection from the first round in the 2020 NHL draft. You get Quinton Byfield. He's a lock, number two overall to the Los Angeles Kings, a big center who had a minor role in the team last year, should be a much bigger force for the coming tournament. You get Graham Clark out of Ottawa, who's a New Jersey draft pick in the third round. Uh, he has an outside shot, but he's going to have a lot of competition here. You got Dylan Cousins, a returning player, uh, seventh overall to the Sabres in 2019, six foot three, 185. Could play center or wing, but either way, uh, he'll definitely be on this team. You got Tyson Forrester of the OHL as well, a Philadelphia first rounder from 2020, 23rd overall. Uh, maybe to make the team, I think it's probably an outside chance, but not likely. You got Gage Con Cavs. Six foot one forward out of the WHL's Everett Silvertips, uh, Tampa Bay second round selection this year. Uh, probably again an outside chance, but not likely. You get Ridley Gregg, a first rounder to the Ottawa Senators, late in the first round, twenty eighth overall from the Brandon Wheat Kings of the Western Hockey League. Uh, he's got an outside shot, uh, but again, going to have some tough competition. You get Dylan Holloway from the University of Wisconsin, at Edmonton selection, fourteenth overall this year. 
I think, again, an outside shot. But it's going to be hard. It's so hard to predict. There's so many good players. You get Seth Jarvis, uh, who's a really uh, crafty offensive winger from the Portland Winterhawks, the Carolina first-rounder, 13th overall. Again, possibility. Uh, you get Peyton Krebs, who should have a, a better shot than a lot of these guys to make the team uh, as a first-rounder last year to Vegas. Uh, missed the tournament, though, due to injury. You get, <clears throat> last year, you get Hendricks Lapierre, uh, who was a Washington first-rounder this year. Again, debatable if he makes it, but certainly going to have a lot of competition. Connor McMichael should be a, a lock. Uh, last year's first-rounder to the Capitals from the London Knights program should be a, a good, solid addition. Dawson Mercer should be back as well. First rounder to the New Jersey Devils, uh, 18th overall this year. Alex Newhook should be another player for sure that makes his team. Uh, first overall, uh, for, sorry, first round pick last year to the Avalanche, uh, 16th overall, uh, originally from Newfoundland, playing at Boston College. Uh, you get Jacob Peltier out of Quebec City, uh, playing currently for Val d'Or as a Calgary first rounder last year. I think Peltier has an, an outside shot. Cole Perfetti would be an excellent uh, center iceman for this team as well. Uh, Winnipeg first rounder from this year, 10th overall. Going to get a good look. Uh, you got Samuel Poulin, the Pittsburgh Penguin, first rounder from last year. Uh, he'll have a good shot. Jack Quinn should stand an excellent chance as well uh, from the Ottawa 67s, first rounder to the Sabres, 8th overall this year. Jamison Rees, the third Carolina prospect on this tournament. Uh, not as likely to make it as the other two guys, but still has an outside shot. You get Cole Schwint, who's a Florida draft pick from last year, a six foot three right winger. Not sure he's going to stand a great chance, but he'll certainly give them some competition. You get Xavier Simono uh, from Drummondville's, not eligible till next year. Um, a five foot seven forward, 174 pounds, good forward. Not sure he's going to have a great chance though. Uh, better chance next year. You get Ryan Suzuki, who should uh, stand an excellent shot. Uh, younger brother of Nick Suzuki, Carolina first rounder from last year, should be. Uh, a, I would think a pretty likely player on this team. You have Philip Tomasino, another player, stands a great chance. Nashville's first rounder from last year. You got uh, Shane Wright, not even eligible till 2022. Uh, not too often you see that, but he likely could go first overall in 2022. It is an excellent player, breaking records for his age. So I uh, wouldn't be shocking if they want to give him a small role, but we'll see. Uh, and then you get Connor Zary from Saskatoon, playing for the Kamloops Blazers. First rounder this year to the Flames, also another offensive player who could stand a good chance as well. So that is all your roster selections here. So that is the Team Canada roster heading into training camp to determine who's going to be officially on this team. Let me know your thoughts and predictions on who will make it, who will get cut, and what is this team going to look like heading into the 2021 World Junior Championships. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.